G'day everyone and welcome back to another shell finding adventure. Yes, we are back at Harvey Bay. Oh my goodness, I just couldn't stay away. Our first shell find, well at least the first one I, I want to pick up. There's a lot of shells around. Looks like our first one is the lovely assorted moon snail. Oh my goodness, just absolutely adore these ones. Yes, this guy looks nice. I really, really loved all of these from last time. I think I identified it as a beaded top shell. It's a kind of false turbo, I think, if I'm getting that right. They're just really, really nice little shells. Another moon snail. I'm sorry, I just cannot get enough of these guys. I think they're absolutely wonderful little snails. Put him in my bucket for now. Yes, I did remember a bucket. I have come nice and early today. There is even more shells down closer to the water. Um, I actually wanted to, oh, look at that one. That's pretty. Oh yeah, super pretty. Oh my goodness, look at that guy. He's like one of those like wedding cake Venus clams or something. Oh my goodness, that's a beauty. Oh, he looks big. Looks like his lip is a bit broken. Oh, but yes, as expected, or as I hoped. He is whole on top. Wow, look at that guy. Isn't he a nice orange color? It should be a Hanes turbo shell. Very, very cool. I would like to find it one with like a whole lip there, but gosh, that is a very nice shell. Most of the ones, ooh, most of the ones I picked up last time were very, very rough. So this guy's in pretty good condition, I think. Oh my goodness, super score. Wow, yes. Yes, it is whole. Yes, it is empty. Wow, that one looks so good. It is a little Campbell Strombus. His lip is all there. It just hasn't grown to its like adult size yet. They kind of flare out quite a bit more. Oh my goodness, look at that color and pattern. That is dang nice. And I saw right behind it, wow, that's a big one. Oh, wow, it's got all this red on top of it. Look at all that red. Don't know if it's like um, sediment or if that'll come off or if it's part of the shell or something. Oh my goodness, what a lovely sorted moon snail. Right here, I did find plenty of these last time as well. Oh, that looks like a good one. I think I've just been calling these the, uh, the Comtesse's top shell. Not sure if that is the right name, but that's the one I found at the time when I did my uh, 100th video. Yep, very, very nice top shell. We just don't really get these at my beach. They're super cool. Oh, that moon snail looks kind of fresh on the bottom, like a bit shiny. How are you on the top? Oh, yes. Yes, that is a nice one on the top. This one isn't a sorted moon snail. It's similar to the ones that I find, or it is the sort of ones that I find at my usual beach. It is the bladder moon snail. Very nice. They've got lovely blue eyes at this beach. Usually at my beach, the more red eyes and cream colors rather than all that blue. Ooh, let's go up to the end and see what else I can find. Let's take a look at that guy. He looks whole. Yes, he is whole. Oh, he is a very, very lovely turkey wing. Look at all those like details and textures on him. Ooh, wow. I think the name for these guys here is the Indo-Pacific Arc Shell, if you want to be like more precise. Oh, I just spotted that and I just started freaking out internally and I'm like, where's my camera? <laughs> Whoa, look at this knobbly little guy. Oh my goodness, he is so adorable. He's starting to get little spikes on him. It is a little baby Baylor shell. Oh my goodness. I, I mean, this is the reason why I came like, early to this part of Harvey Bay because I wanted to maybe find some more Baylor shells. Oh my goodness, he is absolutely adorable. Last time I came here I got three of them, but most of them were about half the size and didn't have any of their spikes. They were literally the tip and almost nothing else. Oh gosh, I love that. Uh, what? Ooh. Ooh. Hello? What is this? What is going on? Oh my goodness, we've got a, another turkey wing, I believe. This one right here is the turkey wing. And stuck onto it is certainly some kind of, I don't think they're barnacles. I'm not really sure what they are. Doesn't look alive though, but wow, look at that. That is just really, really unusual. All right, we'll put him in the bucket. Well, I was looking kind of along that rack line right there and I noticed that there's actually like a rack line right at the back here. 
I don't know, like it must have been like the super high tides from way back when I last came here. Saw this moon snail though, doesn't he look nice? Oh gosh, I think he's faded because he's been sitting up here probably for the last week or so. But it gives him that like really, really nice pastel kind of, ooh, really nice pastel sort of look. Yeah, I believe this one should be another bladder moon snail. Very, very nice. Oh, I just spotted more good things on this like grassy rack line. I mean, yes, they are moon snails. Gosh, doesn't that sorted moon snail that was half buried in the sand look fine? Ooh, ooh, I thought something was trying to get me. Probably the sand flies. Oh my goodness. And just over here, I noticed this one facing up because it's so big. How you look. Oh. Oh, doesn't that look awesome? Yeah, you can see where it's faded right there from being in the sun for a while. It must have been sitting there for ages. Oh my goodness, that looks really nice though. It looks all nice and shiny too. Hold on, there we go. Two great ones right from the back. Another little moon snail that looks a bit faded from being up on the high rack line for a while. Yeah, it's lost a lot, lost a lot of his vivid color, but gosh, he's got like this pale look instead. Oh yeah, that's just that's just a little bit different. I like that as well. Oh gosh, another big boy right from the grass. Again, probably been sitting here for a while. He has lost some of his intensity of color, but wow, I just like that one too. I'm sorry everyone. I'm just going nuts over the lovely moon snails for a while. I saw a few of these joined bivalves the last time I was here. Um, in the end, I managed to accidentally crack it in half, so I left it behind. But you know, if they stay joined, don't they look pretty cool? Uh, they've got these lovely like blue, I wanna say noses, joints, hinges, I don't know, they just look really interesting. Hopefully they can uh, not break apart on me this time. No idea what they are. Ooh, oh, oh, I just noticed a neurite, oh my goodness. Wow, don't typically see neurites here. You know, I say that as a, a visitor of two times now. Oh yeah, I'll keep him. Pretty cool little neurite. And of course, just another little sorted sand snail right here. Moon snail? I don't remember which one. Sand snail or moon snail? <laughs> oh my goodness. What? Yes? What kind of moon snail is this one? Kind of yellowy cream with a with a kind of like stripe there and a faded stripe behind it. Yeah, really not sure what he is. That's really cool. I don't remember finding one of these guys last time I was here either. And right behind him, we'll pick him up as well. Yes, it is another beaded top shell. Very, very nice. This one looks like he's in fantastic condition. I'm sorry everyone, but did you expect anything else? Yes, it is another lovely sorted moon snail. Oh my goodness, and you know all of this stuff inside of him, all that um, silt and stuff. I washed that out when I got home last time and there's like dozens of little like mini micro shells in them. They're really, really interesting. So, you know, if you come to Harvey Bay, keep an eye on the sand you're bringing back. Well, that one possibly looks rather nice. Yeah, I think it is rather nice. Oh, look at his big uh, little spikes on him. He is a very lovely scaly scallop. My goodness, his scales are really nice. They're like really long. I'm sorry, I'm rambling. Yep, he's good. <laughs> now that looks like another very lovely big moon snail. Oh my goodness, he is shiny. Look at that point. This moon snail actually has a fairly nice point and he is so shiny and fresh. Ooh, I'm sorry, I keep dropping them. Oh, he's lovely. And I just noticed in the background, look at this guy. I'm sorry, that was completely out of focus. Wow, look at this big, lovely top shell. Not quite sure what it is. Maybe it's a strawberry top shell. It's the wrong color for that though. I don't know, I'm gonna have to research this one. That is a lovely, lovely big top shell. Welcome back to another episode of Maddie's Moon Snails. Oh my God, that is super big and lovely. Oh my goodness, got a lot of red around its swell. Don't know if that'll come off or if that's supposed to be like that. Oh my goodness, and look at this guy. Lovely little guy. I know there's another one right in the background. Oh, he's so shiny and beautiful. Oh, I wish the moon snails were like this colorful at my usual beach. Oh, but they're all like uh, cream colored. Oh gosh, I've been picking up little moon snails off camera because I've been, I've been picking up too many of them. But, oh my goodness, I almost walked right past that. Oh, it's a little bit broken, but it is the same as last time, I think. I'm not sure. It is another little branch bearing murex. Oh my goodness, it's tiny. Oh, yes, we have. Yes, 
we have a fingernail clam. Found a couple of great ones here last time as well. Look at that. He's still got a lot of his like um, brown outer layer on the side. That's pretty cool. Wow. That guy looks really nice. Oh, wow. He is a type of serith. I forget what his name is. Oh, my goodness. I think I found a few of these last time I was here, but they weren't as nice as this one. Oh, my goodness. Just love all of his little textures and stuff. Oh my goodness, everyone. Remember when I said those like tiny little mini seashells that I found in the silt and stuff? Oh my god, they are right here. There's so many of them in this section. Wow. I don't even know if I can like pick them up to like show properly because my phone can't focus on something that small. Oh my goodness. I think I might just like gather up a bunch of dirt from here and, and sift it all out later. Oh my god. I'm at the tree section and what the heck is this one? Oh, this guy. Oh. Oh. Wow. Not really sure. I was going to pick that up and I thought it was going to be a club whelk because it kind of looked like a club whelk from the bottom. Oh my goodness. I have no idea what this is. That is super cool. Oh my gosh. It's chock full of sediment and stuff. Wow. I'm not even sure if that's a sea snail. It could be a land snail for all I know. <laughs> that's a cool one. I think that is another one of those big seraths. Yeah. Yes, yes, it is a second one of these. Oh, that's really cool. I did not find a single one of these last time I was here. Oh, gosh, no idea what it is, but you know, I really, really like it. Yes, I think I recognize this one. Yes, this guy, I found one of these last time. I'm pretty sure its common English name is the Amazing Nutmeg Shell. Oh my goodness, isn't that just freaking funny? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna keep this one, he's super cool. It looks like a very big orange commercial scallop. Orange, brown, I don't know, what color am I saying? All of them. Wow, he's a big boy. He's a bit of a different color than what I would usually find at my beach. Mine would typically default to white or black. Oh yeah, sediment is definitely doing something to that one. I just spotted in the corner of my eye a lovely auger shell. Let's grab him out, yes. Oh yes, that is a very lovely auger shell. The auger shells here are just spectacular. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I am just spending way too much time at this beach. Oh, what's this? What's this? Oh, I don't know what this one is. Oh, isn't that one interesting? He's very big. Yeah, he's all whole as well. Oh my goodness, that's fun. Ooh, I'm spending way too much time at this beach. I actually came back to Harvey Bay so that I could see Shelly Beach. I meant to do like a quick stop off here first, but I'm just having too much fun. Another turkey wing right here. Oh, he's a nice big one actually. Wow, he has a lovely orange color on him underneath all that silt. Very, very cool. The heck is this? Oh, it's all joined. Oh, it's like an amalgamation of things. Oh, I wanted the leafy oyster because that looks really cool. It looks like a white see-through leafy oyster. <laughs> but it's going to be so hard to get off. Can I, like, step on it and pull it off? Oh, I can. Oh, it's mine. <laughs> oh, Maddie wins. Oh, don't drop it. <laughs> Got a leafy oyster. Yes, I did not think I would find any more of these today I mean, because I'm heading back. Oh, his lip is a tiny, tiny bit broken, but that's still fine. It is another absolutely beautiful Campbell's Strombus. Oh gosh, I do love it when they've got that lovely brown coloring on them. Oh my God, I was about to power walk all the way through this area to get back to the car. <gasps> wow. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at this guy. Oh gosh, isn't he in good condition? Holy sweet swelly seashells everyone, that is a beautiful murex. Again, I think it's the branch bearing murex, it could be something else, let me know if you think it's something else. Oh my goodness, that is so beautiful, wow. Would you look at that one, just a few steps after that murex. Oh my goodness, look at this clam shell, isn't that a pretty colour and pattern on it? Uh, no idea what it is whatsoever. I will try to find out and put it up on screen. Woo, just like that one. What a ray of sunshine on this overcast today. Okay, there is strange things happening here. Sarah, are you alive? Are you alive? Whoa, they're joined together. What? 
is is either of them alive is the question. I have no idea. One of them, this guy right here, uh, this big one, is a propeller arc. This one up here, I have no idea about. He's super ruffly though. Got a bit of water actually. I will try to wash him out. If they're not like occupied by the original creatures, I think I'll take them. That's super cool. Hoping, yeah, look at that, he's empty. And uh, this guy is also empty. Wow, that's really, really interesting. Um, he is super fuzzy though. I can't put him in a bleach bath to get rid of all that outer layer, otherwise I'll get this, uh, I'll accidentally get this spiny oyster or whatever it is off. But wow, that is super interesting. See, another Strombus. Yes, I love these guys. Oh my goodness, again, his tip is, oh sorry, his mouth is a little bit broken, but he looks really, really nice. I'm definitely taking him. And, oh, I just almost walked past it. This one. Yeah, he's a conical moon snail, different from the other moon snails today. I don't think I've picked up one so far. So, yep, there's just a, a couple of different types of moon snails here. Oh my god, no hacking way. I didn't think, whoa, and it's whole. Oh my goodness, I didn't think they popped up at this beach. I thought they only popped up at the other beach. Oh my goodness, yes, a little pieces of him are missing, like a little bit of that lip maybe, a little bit of that tip, and oh my god, that's so good. It is a beautiful long tailed spindle shell. Wow. Wow, I didn't think I'd find any of these at this beach. I found a couple at Tugum Beach last time. Oh, that's lovely. All right, still walking back. I'm going to be late for low tide at the next place. I just know it. Oh my goodness, that does look good. I love these moon snails. These ones might have been my favorite ones that I found here so far. Just these like. Really flat, colourful guys, maybe even more than the sorted moon snails. I'm not sure, just a lovely bladder moon snail, I think. So here are the shell finds for today, and I'm just kidding, there is still plenty more in the bucket. But if you've enjoyed them, please hit that like button for me, and subscribe if you want to see more shelling adventures. Oh my goodness, I am sorry if you do not see your favourite out here. It's probably still in the almighty bucket. Oh my goodness, I just put out my favourites in the end. But of course, please leave me a comment anyway to say which ones were the ones that really spoke to you. And uh, of course, subscribe if you haven't already because I will be hurrying over to a different beach at Harvey Bay for the next episode. Oh my goodness, I know I said they were all my favourites, but there are a couple that stand out a bit more than the other ones. Oh gosh. Still not sure what these things are. I think that is super cool. I ended up finding four of them all up. I've only put one out right now. I can't believe that I actually found a spindle shell here. Oh goodness me, isn't that just beautiful and delicate? Really love the colour on that one as well. But my favourite, oh my goodness, it's a day where I have pretty much three favourites. One two and three. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is for sure the number one favorite though. Wow. Would you get a load of this beautiful murex? I should be able to ID it properly now that it's, ooh, don't drop it. Now that it's not so rough. Oh goodness me. I just absolutely love that one. That would be my top favorite for the day. Uh, my third favorite um, would be this lovely Strombus. Just think that's wonderful. And the second favorite, the one that I thought would be the favorite for the entire day because I love him oh so much, but you know that Murex is just a little bit more special. It's this lovely Baylor shell. Goodness gracious me, those two. Okay, maybe the Strombus can take a hike. Oh my goodness, just love those guys. And that's it for this time, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.